I would like to point out baptizing, baptism. There's um, churches out there, they're baptizing by sprinkling of water. Uh, they believe that you will go to heaven if you are water baptized, whether sprinkled or dipped under or whatever it may be. Um, they believe also some churches that you need this in order to get salvation, which is wrong. <clears throat> we know that Jesus alone um, gets us to heaven. Um, the sprinkling of the water, I don't know where they came up. People came up with that. Sprinkling of water. Jesus, the Messiah, was actually baptized by John the Baptist in the River Jordan. He was actually put under the water and was lifted up the, uh, from the water. And that's when the Holy Spirit came upon him. <clears throat> uh, for people with the sprinkling, I don't know where the idea came from. Um, it's more humble when you are actually dipped in the water and pulled out of the water. Uh, baptism, it actually baptizing in that way represents the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, Another uh, thing I also want to mention that in Corinthians, I can't remember where in Corinthians, but it's in Corinthians, I believe in 2 Corinthians somewhere, that Paul says, these guys come along and, they, and Paul says, Are you, have you been baptized? And they said, I have been baptized by John the Baptist. And he tells them, no. Are you baptized by the Holy Spirit? Have you been baptized by our Lord Jesus? <clears throat> by the Holy Spirit? In order to be spiritually baptized, you need to be baptized by the Holy Spirit first, before the water. Um, they were actually baptized by the Holy Spirit at that moment. Um, Paul did it and clarified it with them. Okay. Um, I also want to read to you a few things. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, starting from verse 18, and when they saw him, they worshipped him, him is Jesus, but some doubted. Then Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Okay. Um, in verse 19 it says, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. In uh, the book of John, um, chapter 1, verse 33, it states, I did not know him, but he, Jesus, who sent me, to baptize with water actually he is God he who sent me to baptize with water said to me upon whom you see the Spirit descending the Holy Spirit is descending on Jesus Christ this is when John the Baptist is actually baptizing Jesus descending and remaining on him him is Jesus this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit and it says, and I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Okay? Uh, again, with the baptism, which this video is about. Baptism, water baptism is not necessary. It's to show um, 
is to show the people that as Christians for us to symbolize you know Jesus paved the way yeah there was people that was um, baptized before Jesus at this time because John the Baptist was actually baptizing people and Jesus came along but this is uh, where it says it says um, I lost my place all right okay it's because I turned the page sorry about that and again the next day John stood with two of his disciples and looking at Jesus as he walked he said behold the Lamb of God okay the two disciples heard him speak and they followed Jesus then Jesus turned and seeing them following said to them what do you seek they said to him rabbi teacher which is to say when translated teacher where are you staying okay um, I figure which book actually clearly says that John says to these disciples this is the one my work is done my work is done now you go follow him this is what um, John the Baptist tells his disciples and they and they and they go and they follow him John the Baptist job was solely to let people know that the Messiah which is Jesus was coming okay Jesus did the the baptism um, himself it, it doesn't um, by water baptism it doesn't um, prove that you are saved or nothing Jesus did it himself yet yeah, he's God um, but for some reason people believe uh, otherwise before I did not know about this part that actually Jesus was um, baptized himself when I first became a Christian and someone told me that I said why did Jesus need to be baptized that doesn't make sense he doesn't need to be saved well the baptism never ever 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 uh, was said that baptism means that you need means to be saved okay um, baptized by the Holy Spirit that's different that's not water baptism that's spiritual baptism it's like when Jesus said forget the man's name I know but um, he says you must be reborn again and the guy says how can I be reborn again um, think about it when a baby is born or when a baby is in the mother's womb is in water okay and you need to be reborn again um, I'm not saying that you need to be water baptized but I'm just saying there's water there and then when the birth happens the water spills out okay the water just to protect the baby it's to, it, it, it does other things water baptism when we do it in the church is to show our fellow brothers and sisters that yes uh, we believe in the, the death burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ and we like to prove that we are saved okay um, any comments I know I've been saying um too many times and I said a few things I should have had the actual verses um, but please do look it up yourselves you know um, like I would always say anything a pastor or a priest says please verify it by the with the Bible we man is of errors sometimes we say opinions and people hear it and believe it's facts 